Today on The Garage Fathers, we've got an actual Nikki Camaro in the studio today. Well, sort of. folks, the big swag from Monster Garage. Listen, in the heart of California, two hardcore enthusiasts have started a business like no other. These guys build, drive, and insure some of the baddest cars on the planet. Their list of clients range from the struggling college student to the rich and famous. They take the proceeds from their agency and dedicate it to the rescue, rehab, and rehoming of forgotten collector vehicles. Their office is a diner. Their shop is a showroom. They are the Garage fathers. So let me explain what I mean. This is my friend Nikki and her Camaro. Hi. <laughs> oh, I cough. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna cough. Nikki, thanks for coming down and bringing the Camaro. Of course. We've been talking about doing this for what, like almost two years? Almost, yeah. A year? A year, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you finally made it. Yeah, it's great to have the car out and to come out to Exeter. Right? Yeah. Um, so tell me, where did it begin with you? When did this disease start to take hold of you. I was born with a disease. It's <laughs> in my you? blood. Yeah, it's a part of my DNA. Uh, awesome. As my family, uh, I think it was just, yeah, gifted from my dad. Uh, yeah. He had a, he has a 69 CST uh, Chevy truck that he's nice. had since 71. So it's, I was born and the truck was already part of the family. Um, in high school, my brother got a 70 Chevelle um, and just worked on it. Um, I was out there helping him wrench and help my dad wrench on it. So I learned a lot about uh, just wrenching on cars with them. Now, did your brother ever let you drive the Chevelle? Um, when my brother was at home, I kind of learned how to drive in his car uh, back when it was an automatic. He's since, you know, changed it over. But yeah, so I got to drive that. Um, I drove my dad's truck back um, in high school too a little oh, nice. bit, um, of course, under supervision. Uh, but yeah, so that's how I, you know, first learned to drive was in their, their vehicles a little bit. Um, and then I've always had this as a bucket list item, a 67 Camaro. So um, back in April of 21, I was like, I'm just going to do it. I need it. I want it. I, I love going to the car shows. It's always been something I wanted. So just I ripped the Band-Aid and I did it. So I found my car um, in Ver Vernon, California on Craigslist. Uh, my dad and I went down and uh, trailered it back home. Okay. So. Wow. It's been a project ever since. Wow. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. So you've loved them all your life. This is your first classic car that you've owned? Yes. Your first time? Okay, uh -huh. that's awesome. Now, I, I've known you for a little over a year now, I think, and mm -hmm. I think it's great because, like you, I've loved cars my entire life, and um, as I think about when I was younger and even up until the last five or ten years, it's always been kind of a good old boys club, you know, and there were really no female car enthusiasts, yeah. and it's so refreshing to see you and others like you, and it's almost like becoming the norm, you know, it seems like it's becoming a little bit more popular, you know, and that's that's really great to see. 
Yeah, I've been for sure welcomed in with open arms from uh, the car community, I could say for sure. Yeah. Um, it, it's always funny when I go and get gas or have my car out, I get the look, you know, from, you know, <laughs> men sometimes, some who are sure. a little more assuming than others, like, oh, uh, who's, who's is that? And it's like, oh, oh yeah. mine. Oh, that's not your husband's or your dad's or, you know, and I'm like, no, no, it's mine. And then I get the, who works on that for you? And it's like, yeah. well, my, my dad and brother, you know, help and, and do most of it and teach me everything that I know but I'm I'm more than willing and, and happy and I want to learn and I want to get my hands dirty yeah. um, I, I want to do as much as I can I, I don't want to be one of those people and this is I think me with everything I don't want to be someone who's like oh so someone did that for me I mean even with like home improvement projects I want to get my uh -huh. hands dirty I want to know about it I want to have knowledge about my car I want to be yeah. able to talk openly and knowledgeably about what's going on with my car so yeah, yeah it, it's been great to be part of the the car community and just welcomed in as just one of the members. Yeah, you're just like one of the one of the guys. One of the guys, one of the and that's what I say, yeah, went to everyone, you know, it's like, oh, I'm just one of the guys, you yeah. know, it's just, you know, I'm, I don't want to be seen as anything different. I'm just one of the guys that wants to, right. you know, have fun with the cars and, and just go to the car shows and have The only event. thing you're really missing is a beard, I mean. I know? could probably try to grow one, yeah. you know, I like. I think that might do wonders. Or, you, you know, know, Halloween costumes, I could probably just like smash one on yeah. or, yeah, I You know, try. for those few that, that <laughs> might still be hanging on to, you know, right? not accepting. Not accepting of it, know, yeah. It might just push you right over the edge. I could try. <laughs> <laughs>have a, a pretty cool Instagram too that we've checked Thanks. out now did you start that when you got the car or so I'm pretty private on my personal Instagram uh -huh. so when I got my car I was like oh I think I want to like you know document my car because it's not really much about me it's just about like my projects that I'm doing to let yeah. people know I I'm still alive, I'm, you know, I'm out here, you know, but I'm, I'm gonna work on my car. So I was putting some different things on, on my Instagram. Like when I first got it, um, the first time I got gas, uh, I went and had some uh, extra keys made and I was waiting in the parking lot and it was started just like, um, I would say hemorrhaging fuel, just like dripping <laughs> gas, drip, drip, drip. And I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. I hope I don't blow up. Um, so my first experience with the car was learning how to drop a gas tank. So um, I luckily have an Apple Watch and I was able to call friends because I thought I had most of the fuel out, but I, I didn't. So there's a great picture on my personal Instagram of me like very awkwardly like holding this like not empty gas tank. Um, so I posted a couple of pictures of my car projects on um, my personal Instagram and then I was like, I don't really think my friends are gonna be super into like watching me work on a car Most of them, you know, if I say oh, I'm gonna work on my car today. They're like, oh, it's broken or oh, it's oh, yeah. It doesn't work. Like what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm just I want to make it better um, So I you know talked to my brother because he has an Instagram and it's kind of only for his car and he, he very very rarely posted um, but I, I thought I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just dedicate an Instagram to my car. So he and I were joking about it. And I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna call it Big Blue Camaro. And I have a small block, so it's kind of like false advertisement, oh. but I didn't know what else to call it. So I called it Big Blue Camaro. And I was just gonna put only pictures of my car on there and just kind of dedicated to the projects that I was doing on my car. But I started that Instagram in May of 2021 and it's obviously not gone as planned. I was just gonna, you know, dedicate it to my car, but then accidentally the whole car, uh, classic car photography has come out of that, which has been super fun and has just like thrown me into the car culture even more. Yeah, you take amazing pictures. You guys, Thank you. check out Big Blue Mustang. Ah, on Instagram, burn. Right? Is that <laughs> That hurts my heart. <laughs> yeah, well, awesome. I'm, I'm dying to take a closer look. Do you want to show me the car a little bit? Of course, bit? yeah. Let's okay, check let's it out. Let's go take a look. Check it out, Nikki. Camaro play date. Ooh. Right? Yes. It's going to be fun. All right, so tell me about these wheels. These are pretty 
Uh, nice looking. Okay, thank you. It took me longer to pick the wheels uh -huh. and the tires and wheels than it did for me to pick out every option in my new home. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm, you uh, I'm agonized. Huh? I'm so picky. Um, so yeah, these are the American Racing wheels that I picked uh -huh. out. The draft is the ones I went with. Um, I liked how the outside the hoop is polished and the inside is. Um, that gray color, which yeah. kind of pulls in together with the racing stripes. Right. Now, what was on it when you uh, A 15-inch stock rally wheel. Oh, okay. So I went with an 18-inch wheel 18 this inches. time. 18-inch. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Very cool. Yeah. And you got some disc brakes. Those were on there when you got it? Yeah. The front is disc and the uh -huh. back are drum. And actually, right now in my garage, I have disc brakes for the rear. So that's the one of the next oh, projects okay. coming up. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Maybe over winter break? Uh, hopefully, uh, my dad and brother want to come out and help out. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. And I see we've got the 327 Fender badge here. Don't yeah. tell us yet. Don't spoil the surprise. I actually just had those repainted by oh, a guy okay. in Farmersville because they were a little crusty, but at least they look pretty now. They do. They look amazing. Yeah. yeah. Along yeah. with having it, um, I had the paint corrected and ceramic coated because it, I think the paint's only about seven years old, but I think um, maybe a three-year-old went through with some really fine sandpaper because the swirls were aggressive. Oh. So I had it um, all shined up. So now he looks pretty. Did you see a big difference after you did oh, that? Oh my gosh, it was like night and day. The uh, the I took video and then the uh, detailer took video and he was sending them to me and it was just like, oh my gosh, people wow. thought I had it repainted. It's just the difference was night and day. That's awesome, that's awesome. And then uh, can we open the door here? Take sure, a look of inside? course, it opens, yes. So we've got a automatic with the console shifter that's yeah D is that okay though i mean sometimes yeah, people men will come up to me and say oh it'd be so much better it'd be so much better like, if uh, it was not an automatic like, and i'm like go back in your hyundai dude yeah. and just drive away it'd be in so your much hyundai. better if you had a real car yeah yeah like, if you're a real man but yeah, yeah. so i mean it, it it gets the job done for me so it's pretty uh stock inside it does have the retro sound uh, system which is great because I don't really love my antenna, so I often take it off, um, but my phone hooks up to it and I can play anything that I want. But, nice. Yeah. I'm sure people want to know exactly what, what, what are you listening to uh, typically? It's country music. Country a lot music. of like That's 80s good. and 90s country, um, oh. or I'll go back to like some 60s music. It reminds me of my yeah. dad, like when we would ride in his truck. Right. So it always feels like more time appropriate to listen to 60s uh, music when I'm in my car. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. And we've got the stock bucket seats, of course. Yep. And, it's got the console. console in there, so I can, you know, put some snacks in my console. That's always nice to have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very cool. And you've got the, the correct little loop carpet. That's always nice oh, to yes. see. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I love the wheel wells on these Camaros, too. These 67 and 68. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. I was able to go with a bigger tire on the back yeah. to offset from the front. Um, I did an eight inch uh, wheel on both of them. I wanted a 10, yeah. but you know, I didn't want to be too aggressive. I don't want a tub, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did you notice a big difference in handling when you put You know what, it, on? it wasn't bad yeah. uh, before. It uh -huh. was smooth, um, so I had it, uh, of course, aligned and balanced all those great things, and it still drives pretty smooth. Yeah, nice, nice. And of course, you've got the, the stripes, and, mm -hmm. you know. Because it's a race car. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, I'm not, I'm, I'm not the Camaro maven of knowledge. Maybe we should have had Tom do I this know. walk around, because he is. He but, has his own Camaro. Yeah, yeah, but they look correct to they, me. I think they're fine, yeah. It was originally um, a marina blue color, so the lighter blue, and then it was yellow, and then now it's this dark blue color. Yeah. So yeah, it's had a lot of changes over its yeah. life, but it identifies as a race car now with the stripes. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And let's take a look back here. Mm -hmm. So we fill the tank back here. You've got that interesting. Yep, it's thirsty often. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> and what do we have in here? Junk. There's junk in my trunk. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you mind sharing? Or... <laughs> Why not? Let's just do it. Ready? You don't mind putting your junk in trunk? No, on let, video, it, right? let it out. Let okay, it out. <laughs> See, these are a few of my favorite things tacos, photography, well, tacos, workouts. and old Chevy. Not I mean, workouts? I mean, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I'm not going to try to lie and pass something <laughs> off. And photography, you know, we have a rule here at Garage Fathers. I'm not allowed to ever hold a camera. No, it's fun. <laughs> it's what got me into this addiction anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Nice, no rust, and you get the nice. 
I've, you know, I've re repainted it a yeah. couple of times, but um, I've been doing some work in here because I put the new lights in, so the new tail lights, so people can see my junk behind me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. It follows you everywhere you go, though, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then again, you know, the, the stance is just really aggressive with these wheels. I love it. I want it lower, but I don't know if I can handle the low life because uh, I already <laughs> kind of rub on certain things in these beautiful oh. Tulare County streets that I we know, have. Right? But I don't know. I want it lower. We'll see if that happens. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let me show you a little bit inside. Yeah, let's take a look. Um, so this is a steering wheel that I replaced. Um, it came with that little horrible one, which was just too much of a 90s thing. I couldn't handle it. Um, but the owner actually gave me the really big one. I felt like it was driving a bus, uh -huh. and I was like, not going to happen. <laughs> but they did have it painted to match um, the car color now. Um, yeah, just an automatic. So this one's just right. Yeah, I, I fit. Um, I don't have a working horn yet, so that's, I just need to get that done. Um, the horns under the hood don't work, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get there. I would like to upgrade the gauges, um, but I do have my-, really? my I love the stock gauges. On I these. do, so that's the thing I was looking at, some newer ones, mm -hmm. um, but I just love the look of that, and I don't want it to look too modern inside. I right. really like the classic look of everything. Um, I have my little, my awesome Phytech um, gauge cluster so I don't have a tack on this car because it is just a base model but it does allow me to have my tack and also um, like my temperature gauge so I can yeah. see my coolant knowing if my fans are on and off a whole bunch of different options come up in my Phytech computer um, cluster. Have you, have you found a set of gauges that you do like? Uh, no I mean it took me how many years I feel to pick <laughs> these wheels I'm super picky yeah. so I see some that I like and then I'm kind of like mm, maybe not like Maybe the number spacing is wrong. I'm just super picky. That's um, awesome. Ugh, I hate it. Um, so I have the the retro, um, the retro sound um, radio, which is awesome. But other than that, there's really not much going on inside. I mean, I have these awesome um, AC. Oh yeah. Levers here. So this is. Air. Yeah, this is this is um, extra high. Hi, we got a medium and a low. <laughs> so on the way over here, since it was like 35, I had them, had them closed up. So I had like had the heater on. But you know, you know, I don't know why they didn't keep them after 67. They're I don't just, know. I, they should still be on new cars because a lot of times <laughs> I don't want to run the AC right? in a newer car. Yeah. And I wish I had vent wings. It's nice, yeah, to just like blow in a little bit of air or there's those little like ones down there. What are those like kicker plate yeah. or something? Those are nice to kind of cool off your feet, but... Right. Yeah, it is. These are nice. That's how you can tell it's a 67 and not a 68 right there. Those wing windows are a dead giveaway. Right. So, Nikki, you want to show me this fancy Phytech science stuff you got I going on? I would love to. All right, let's see. Okay, let's check it out. All right. Okay. <laughs> it takes all my power. Got it. Got you it. did it. I did it, yes. You know what? I on uh, Camaros, I find them especially hard. I can I can never open hoods on Camaros. I have to shove like half my or whole my whole hands up in there, and then you need to like also pry. It's yeah, quite. It's, it's a tight fit. I don't. I can't get my. Oh, my, my whole fits. hand fits there, okay. but I don't have enough. Like, I don't, it's By quite. By the way, yeah. this is immaculate. Oh, so, <laughs> it's because I use this ball to like clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, demonstrate for the audience. Okay, ready. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. No, it, that's great. Is that an air gap intake? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To keep oh, it cooler. Brand. Okay, yeah. Yeah, jugs. And then um, underneath, if you creep down in there, I mean, uh -huh. I'm, I'm a little smaller than oh, you. Yeah. You can see that. So yeah, the Phytech. So um, when I got the car, it was um, ugly, real ugly under here. I mean, I know it's not the prettiest to oh, some, it um, but it's come a long, long way. Uh, so it's just the small block 327, uh -huh. and Phytech graciously gave me uh, their Phytech uh, wow. throttle body system. So it's a fuel injection system that has made this car run so much better than it used to. Really? I used to. Well, start what's the it, difference? What, what are the noticeable differences? Um, when I, I, it starts quicker and easier, uh, less times of turning over the key, waiting, waiting, waiting for it to start. All right. um, but the first thing I can tell you, like, is it? I push the gas. And the car responds to actually it goes um so it's just a lot smoother of a um a response to my foot hitting the gas pedal um it just like accelerates and decelerates a lot smoother so it's great and then 
Um, one of the next uh, steps for under the hood is uh, I got cruise control for my birthday from my dad. So we're gonna oh, put nice. cruise control on it, yeah. Oh, it's fun. a super old system, I think it's called electronic speed something. I don't know, it's very old, it's from Sears. But wow. yeah, that's one of the next things to go on under the hood. Now, did, did, did you have to put O2 sensors in, I'm assuming? Uh, yes, uh-huh, so there's that. Yeah. There's quite a lot of things, but yeah, it's, um, it's a great system. That's awesome, you've got a nice big aluminum radiator, so. Yes, it came with that with a double fan, so sure the. Sure, runs nice and cool. Yeah, they kick on at 186, so I've not had any heat problems, and you know how hot it gets here. Yeah, you know, I gotta tell you something, Nikki, and probably a lot of our viewers at home are thinking the same thing, I gotta tell you, <laughs> If I was 10 years younger, 100 pounds lighter, I'd probably want a car just like this. Right, you could yeah. just get in and cruise it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's a great car. I would totally, you know, like to cruise it more, but I don't cruise it that much. Now it's gonna be too cold to cruise. Yeah, yeah, well, it's speaking fine. of cruising, how about we do it? Let's go for I a cruise. I think we yeah. should, yeah, All right. let's do it. Who's gonna drive? Us. Okay. Ready? <laughs> All right, okay, hold on. <laughs> What are the rules here? You're I not don't gonna know. hit me, are you? No, no. Okay, don't Wait, hit me. Wait, would you go on three? Okay, three. Ready? Ready? Ah! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I win. Okay. Hey, wait, Nikki, before we go, uh -huh. uh, why does your front end look so much different than this Camaro? Well, this is a base model, remember? It's on a Super Sport, <laughs> it's not a Rally Sport. I mean, it's got those fancy racing stripes, but yeah. um, this is just a base model, so it came with just two sets of round headlights. Okay. Headlights and then a, a more of a running light. These um, headlights are pretty fancy yeah, looking. so I got some dapper headlights, and then I also did, um, through Classic Industries, I did just new lights in general for the running lights. They're not all ugly and disgusting, but yeah, I got new lights. So they're LEDs and they light up my life. Um, they light up the road <laughs> at night. So you can actually see where you're going and what you're not gonna hit. And then I did new That's backlights great. as well. Nice, nice. All right, take me for a ride. Let's go. Let's go. Nikki, thanks so much for 
let me drive your car. You know, for a Chevy, it's awesome. Well, we're trying to, you know, open your eyes to what good cars are like, and it's <laughs> yeah. Chevy, it's not Ford. <laughs> I mean, in this case, I'll, I'll, I'll let you have that. Okay, that's I can't good. believe you lapped me out there, though. I know, I had to show you what was up if I was going to let you drive my car. <laughs> that's, I love the competitive spirit right there. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs>